Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn discuss further into integrals and work, and now go over example three of the the example series. Uh, basically, go over this example. It states a 200 pound cable is 100 feet long and ha hangs vertically from the top of a tall building. How much work is required to lift the cable to the top of the building? So if we were to draw it out, here's a 3D drawing of the building. You got your windows, etc. So let's say you have the cable, it's hanging down, and it is a length of 100 meters, or I mean 100 feet. So 100 feet and weighs 200 pounds. But now since we're dealing with uh, pulling the cable on top of the building, and as you pull it, the distance from the top and bottom uh, gets smaller so that you're pulling some of the cable shorter distance than the other. It's better to write this, uh, this pounds, the total weight of it in terms of pounds per foot. So 200 pounds uh, divided by 100 feet, that's, this is just 2 pounds per, f uh, per foot. And now to solve for this one, since we're not given a force formula, we can actually d determine that in the same way I did my earlier video on uh, on determining work or writing, defining work as an integral. So what we'll do is, if I just draw a dashed line here, so representing, we'll start from here and we'll draw this as the origin, so that represents the origin. This is at uh, x equals to zero. This is the x, we'll just call this x right there. and at this point right here is the x equals to 100. So we're going to go from the top of the building downwards. And now instead of just finding out the total work, first let's see, let's just uh, pick a random segment anywhere in between. So we'll call this delta x right here. And and at this point, inside, just put, put any point randomly inside this delta x, and we'll call this xi star. And this is just any point within the xi, um, yeah, xi segment or point on this, uh, this, uh, this axis. So now what we'll do is determine the amount of work of lifting uh, a delta x or this portion on top of the building. So to lift this one here so it has a, a length of delta x. And we know that for this case here we'll call this wi right here this is the the work required to lift this up is going to be well force i times it by our distance i and in this case here the distance is is going to be our this is going to be our x i star so that's the total distance to the top of the building and our force well we know that it's length delta x so our uh, f i right here is going to be delta x times it by and so this is the the length of it times it by well, this right here, the foot, foot per pound. So we t two times by the delta x, and we'll get. If you look at the units, we'll get l uh, pound over foot. So the delta uh, delta x, which is in, in feet, cancels. You're just left with pounds, and pound is a unit of force. So when we put this together, we know that w i or this segment right there is going to be the work. The work required to put on top of the building is going to be now. Uh, 2 delta x times it by x i and x i star which is the point in, inside this and and uh, now we know that the total work is just gonna be now is gonna be the summation of as you break this up into many many segments and and they get smaller and smaller so let's go with right here actually this is gonna be limit as this n goes to infinity like I've done in, in defining the work as integral of the summation from i equals to 1 up to n of now we have this 2 times it by, we'll put this xi in front, xi star times it by delta x. So that's the work for one of them. So that's this right here as we arrange it to write it like this. So that's the work for one segment. Now this is the, this is the uh, formula for if you had infinitely small segments and infinite yeah, infinitely small segments and that are really, 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 really small or infinitely small and infinite of them. So that's that's this, and this is a Raymond sum, and you could write this as an integral. So now in this case, we're going to be integra integrating from 0 to 100. So 0 
100 of now 2x delta x. So now this x, we don't need to do this xi star because as you get smaller and smaller, the xi star or x is just going to be all into one. It's gonna, it can be considered as one point because you're just very, very small distance apart. And also this is not delta x, this is dx. So this is infinitely small delta x. And now we can just solve this integral. And when we solve it, this equals 2 integral of 2x, that's just going to be x squared over 2, and there's a 2 in there. So the 2's will cancel, plug this in, uh, you're going to get now, this is going to be 100 squared, and then put a 0, that just cancels. So we're left with now 100 squared, yeah, which is just 100 times 100, or add two zeros to it. So you're going to get 1, 2, uh, 3, 4. So 10,000, and the units for this work, we're timesing a force times it distance, so we're going to be a uh, pound foot or a foot pound. Yeah, I just rearrange it to, uh, this, this more common foot pound. So that is the unit uh, of force in this case, um, and of work, and that's the total work. So 10,000 foot pounds, this is in US customary units. And that is the amount of work to pull this cable. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this video. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.